Yeah, so basically um, I study the uh, um, cancer in kids, which is neuroblastoma. And my, my piece is basically is to, to simulate this cancer cell, to make a computer model that tries to find out which uh, parts of the cancer cell we can target with a drug to make it more efficient. So like the usual way is that you do experiments and then you try and then you find out. So the idea is to make it a bit more systematic and more rational. And then I'm particularly interested in cell division, so how the cell divides. And this we are trying to simulate. So neuroblastoma is a cancer in, 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 in babies that usually they are less than one year and uh, affects basically um, the spinal cord. So it's the, nerv the nervous cells. And then uh, the cancer usually it's very aggressive in some kids and because it invades all the organs and there are no really good therapies for this. But it has an interesting property that um, some kids they cure themselves. So the cancer just disappears, nobody, so the doctor doesn't give a treatment and then the cancer goes away. And this is something really interesting because it's the only cancer that really happens very often and other cancers is not really common. Basically first I collect data, so I play around with the cells and do some experiments and then I build mathematical equations and then run it in the computer. I'm trying to, to uh, make a model that represents all the data, all the behavior of the cells. And so basically my normal day is like half a day in the lab and half a day in the computer. So trying to make it a mix. And, and the idea is that we can make it in a more systematic way so that more people can, can actually use the models and, and build up for other cancer types. And, and maybe at one point we find a cure, no? I wanted to study physics. <laughs> so that's why I also like the computer modeling stuff. But um, I also like diseases and I want to understand diseases. And uh, I mean, I think the, the planet system and all these things are very cool. But I thought, okay, I think really biology is my thing because um, I really want to understand what happens, you know, like for example, with cancer. And my mom also has an immune disease, so I try first to understand that. Now I'm trying to understand cancer, so it's kind of really like what got me also. And maybe I can also motivate me to, um, you know, contribute something. Actually, it's two of my main passions. Like I, I do salsa a lot, and it's like, um, it's really my my hobby. And then I thought, okay, maybe, it's, maybe there's a way that we can use like human bodies, like the normal dance, to try to communicate something that is very abstract, you know, like science. And then perhaps it makes it clear for people, you know, because I mean, as humans, we 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 believe what we see, you know, and then perhaps the human body. It's actually a nice and very static way of representing maybe an abstract concept. Biology is very complex and I think biologists need to find ways to, to incorporate this complexity. We have avoided the whole time because we say, oh, let's focus on one protein or, because it's really too complicated. I mean, the human genome has um, around 20,000 genes. So it's really a lot of information, but I think biologists, we have to now lose the fear and try to make it more. So we have to be more risky and, and also be also more creative.